Joke shop. Yes, stay away from it. Do something sensible for a change. All right. I'll take Nasha for a nice walk. <laughs> to the joke shop. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Ha Ha. Dennis, good to see you again. You too. So, what's new? Ah, vampire chattery teeth. <laughs> With a difference. <laughs> Added bad breath. <laughs> cool. Oh, hello, Mother. Oh, yes, Mother. No, Mother. Oh, of course, Mother. What's wrong? My mother, she's flying into Beano Town this morning, which means she's going to find out I run a joke shop. So, what's the problem? When she gave me money to set up a business, she thought I was a vet. If she finds out the truth, I'll have to close down. <gasps> close the shop? No! I'm afraid so. Unless <gasps> we turn this shop into a vet for the day. You mean... Play a trick on my mother? <laughs> well, well, I mean, that would be... Fun? <laughs> Curly, get Pie Face and get down to Mr Ha Ha's. We've got an emergency. <laughs> oh. That'll be mother. Quick, hide! <laughs> mother! Hello, Hardy. Uh, welcome to my practice. Uh, how, how was your journey? The flight was bumpy, the taxi was smelly. This is it? Yes. You don't seem very busy. Uh, I'm expecting my assistant to bring in a patient any second. That's us! Come on, Nasha! <laughs> ah, there you are. And who is this little fellow? Uh, uh, Nasha. And what seems to be the problem? Uh, uh, pointy arrowitis. Ah, yes. Pop him on the table. Surely there's no hope. Shouldn't you just put him out of his misery? <laughs> Let's see. A uh, mallet, a uh, clamp. Oh. Hang on, Mr. Ha Ha. I think we need an anaesthetic. Let us begin. Uh, Mother, you'd better sit down. Uh, tweezers. Check. Lights. Check. Dramatic music. Check. Then I'm going in. That's one. Oh, yeah. And then there. Oh, oh. oh. Last one. It's going to be tricky. <gasps> Don't lose it now, Doctor. Now to wrap up. There. Right as rain. further treatment, won't he? D oh, yes. Yes, say, in a, a week or two. Well done, Hardy. You've saved him. <sighs> Psst. We've got a problem, Den. Look outside. <laughs> Oops. Uh, 
uh, uh, uh, we're closed. Closed? Oh, do your job, Hardy. Save these poor animals now. Oh, yes, Mother. Um. Telescope. 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 Hmm. Uh, he's cross-eyed. Hey. Uh, he's suffering from uh, the concentric pupils. We've got just the thing. I think he might have, uh, um... Uh, low... Low... volume? Low volume... Mm, maximosis! Exactly! Uh, he's lost his voice. Try this, Mr. Ha-Ha! <laughs> oh, Of course, a uh, thermometer. <laughs> Classic case of nippy rodent syndrome, wouldn't you say, Mr. Ha Ha? Oh, definitely. Yes, uh, a very bad chill. No problem. This will warm him up. I'm very proud of you, Hardy. Now, give me a tour of Beano Town so I can show off my clever son. Oh, yes, Mother. Dennis, help! Dr. Ha Ha, what about our vet school? Vets in training! Uh, that's us! Oh, yes, eager to learn. More school! <gasps> Hardy, you've got little apprentices. You're so dedicated. Go. Teach. <clears throat> Oops. And who is this? I'm the local vet, and I've been getting a lot of dissatisfied customers. Uh, ah. May I suggest, Mr. Ha Ha, that you stick to what you know. Go back to running a joke shop. I can't believe my ears. A joke shop? Can this really be true, Hardy? You run a joke shop? But it's the best shop in town, Mrs. Ha Ha. My favourite. Please don't be angry. Fooling you was my idea. Angry? I'm shocked. Hardy Ha Ha, you always said you wanted to be a vet. Mother, that was when I was five. But can you honestly say that you're happy? Larking about in a joke shop? We're all happy in the shop, Mrs. Ha Ha, aren't we? Oh, oh yes. yes! I suppose if you're happy, that's all that really matters. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gawping. Show me everything! <laughs> Results! Oh, well, if you'd like to come this way, Mother, here we have a drawer full of fake doggy doo doos. <laughs> That's always a winner. Uh, of course, obligatory wigs, hats, itching powder, whoopee cushions. <laughs> 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 Popularity rock in a bag. Oh, it's a winner. <laughs> oh, dear. God, hilarious. Dennis, I thought I told you to stay away from this joke shop. But, Mum... Oh, please don't be too hard on him. Boys will be boys and they all like a joke. And some of these things are quite amusing. <laughs> oh, very amusing, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Presenting the Menace Mark 1 Meteor, which will take me, Commander Dende, on the first pedal-powered mission to Mars! 
Jump in, Nasha. Oh. Initiating leg power. <laughs> we have lift off. Cool. Switching to glide control. Money. It doesn't grow on trees, you know. Haven't you got any money? Not enough for a new bike. But you work your fingers to the bone in that office. That's because I love my job. And I do practically run the rubber band and paperclip division. That's what I mean. They can't do without you. Well, that's true. If it wasn't for me, it'd grind to a halt. Exactly. So, ask your boss for a rise. What? You're joking. Ask Mr Scrimp for more cash. He's the meanest man in Beano Town. Dad, are you a man or a mouse? Stand up to the old skin flint. You know, you're right. He should be paying me more. I'll march up to the old miser's office and demand a raise. What? Have you taken leave of your senses? I didn't get where I am today by giving handouts to every Tom, Dick and What's-His-Name who walks through that door! 1,101. Get out! You know what, Nash? When Dad gets back, he's going to buy me the best bike in the... Dad! What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Dennis. I talked to Mr Scrimp, like you said, and he agreed he wasn't paying me the right amount. See? I told you it would work. He's not giving me more money. He's cutting my wages for wasting his time. Oh, why did I listen to you? Remind me again, Dennis. Why are we trashing your house? Because I'm trying to make it look like we're dead poor. But how's that going to get you a new bike? If Dad had more money, he could buy me one, right? And if Dad's boss sees how poor we are, he'll feel bad and give Dad a rise. Listen and learn, boys. <coughs> is that you, Scrimp? This is Hiram Big Bucks of USHQ. Yeah, you're a boss. Listen, drop whatever you're doing and go see what's his name. Works in rubber bands and paper clips. I can't think why Mr Big Bucks wants me to go round to wretched What's-His-Name's wretched house. Still, he's the boss. Whatever he says goes. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is this that wretched What's-His-Name's house? Yeah, I'm that wretched What's-His-Name's son. Come in, Governor, come in. <laughs> Goodness, this is incredible. Oh, don't you worry about us, your wealthiness. <laughs> we're poor, but we're happy. Oh, where's me manners? How about a lovely cup of char? Here, take a seat, sir. <laughs> Family heirloom. Been used 23 times, but it still makes a lovely brew. That's awful. But it's the only one we got. Not that, everything. When What's-His-Name asked me for a raise, I had no idea. <laughs> Look, when your father gets back, tell him I'm doubling his salary. Nobody should have to live like this. Yes! Result! 
Out! Mr. Scrim. What's his name? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were coming. We were out shopping. Shopping? On your income? Uh, just a few groceries, you know. Really? So, so what's this then? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's the latest thing. A Swiss Army moustache trimmer. What? How can you afford some fancy new gizmo when your family are starving? M must have been a free giveaway. Oh, we're not starving. I'm just going to cook some nice spaghetti for supper. It's only tin spaghetti. I'm starting to smell a rat. You're not really poor. All this play acting was just a sham to get me to give you more money. Play acting? I don't understand. Nice try, what's his name, but your devious little ploy has failed. Oh, and one more thing. You're fired! But, oh. All right, Dennis, what's going on? Oh, my house! My beautiful house! Dennis! Uh, don't worry, Mum. We can fix the house, and I'm sure Dad will be able to get a new job. Easy peasy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, somebody's dropped that. Never know when he might need a play clip. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. Nobody wants to employ me. Fired from 13 jobs in one day. That's got to be a record. Paper clips and rubber bands are all I know. I was happy working for Mr. Scrimp. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you your old job back. Just leave it to me. OK, Nasha, now we'll show Mr Scrimp how the rubber band and paperclip division is rubbish without Dad. Follow me. <laughs> What's going on? Stop all this nonsense and get back to work! Who did that? OK, Nasha, here we go. The world's biggest rubber band ball. It's you. What's his name, son? Oh, thank you. Think nothing of it. Oh, I don't understand it. The paperclip and rubber band division ran like clockwork when your father was in charge. Yes. Pity you sacked him. Uh, maybe I was a tad hasty. I wonder if he'd come back and work for me again. Only one way to find out. Step up now. Don't be snooty. Come and try my tooty fruity. Ah, what's his name? How would you like your old job back? I'll double your salary. What? Well, I don't know. I... But, but triple it then. I need you back, what's his name? The place has gone to the dogs without you. Well, in that case, I'd love to come back. Excellent. Jump in then. <sighs> So, Dad, uh, about my new bike, I was thinking 21 gears, dual suspension... Dennis, there isn't going to be a new bike. That's right, Dennis. After paying out to redecorate the entire house, I reckon I won't be able to give you any more pocket money until you're 37. And you can have a new bike when you're 48. But, but, what am I supposed to do until then? You know, it's amazing what you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. Check this out! 
Looks like Nash has got a famous twin. <laughs> if only, if Nashi was a celebrity, he could get us into the Rat Bucket gig tomorrow night. I still think we should ask Athena to get us some tickets. Look, Athena, the latest issues. Oh, my gosh, let me see. Yeah, she is Rat's only kid after all. No way. Athena wouldn't give us the time of day, especially if you go round swiping her mags. Athena. Hmm. Weird looking creature, if you ask me. Still, fashion is fashion. <laughs> At last! Yes, the dog is an Abyssinian wirehead tripe hound. Rare? I should hope so too. No, I don't care what it costs. It's the number one fashion accessory with the in crowd. So get me in, or you'll be out permanently. You know what? I reckon Nash might help us get into the gig after all. Yeah? How? Listen and learn, pie face. Better get going. I've got to feed my Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Wait a minute. I remember that horrible mutt of his. Can it be? It can't be. It is! It's a tripe hound! Stop him, sugar! Hey! Come back! Yeah? What's up? Uh, Mr Athena wants your dog. How much? Name your price. Sorry, girls. Nasha's not for sale. Nasha? Ugh. That name will have to go. Make a note, sugar. Change name of dog. No need. Like I said, Nasha's not for sale. At any price. There you go. <laughs> hmm, we'll see about that. Everyone has their price, even Dennis. Hey! What the... Wow! Is that what I think it is? The Super Curl 3000 with built-in surround sound and full remote control. <laughs> Direction finding system as standard. Do left hand 180 at the bottom of the drive for the skate park. Wow! And of course, it has 360 remote control tail spin ability. <laughs> that totally rocks! <laughs> Limited edition, of course, but you can have it in exchange for the dog. Uh, no thanks. It would take more than a skateboard to break up Nasher and me. <laughs> hmm, apart from his dog and his skateboard, what else does Dennis love? Astronomy, bees, hang gliding. No sugar, music. Especially guitars. <laughs> With a rat bucket triple neck! The coolest guitar in the world! I want to trade Dad's guitar for... Let me guess. Me dog. Yes. I may not be the best guitarist on the planet, but you could be with a guitar like this. Nah. I prefer a single neck axe. No deal. Oh, really? Well, let's see what the dog thinks, shall we? Sugar, the chart. <sighs> Listen up, dog. This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Never to be repeated. Come with me and it's a first-class lifestyle. With a luxury penthouse kennel. A private chef. Mountains of luxury hand-rolled sausages. All for you. <laughs> well, do we have a deal? <laughs> OK, then. You got me. It's a deal. 
Yes! Come along, sugar, and bring the hound. And you can give her to the dog's home. <laughs> Nasha, gone? I, I don't understand. Don't worry, pie face. All will be revealed. <laughs> we'll be seeing Nasha again soon. And we'll be getting rat bucket tickets. Really? Trust me. into a full-on fashionista. How mm. can Pampa Pets help you today, madame? Mm? Nails, please. Mm. I think we're talking industrial pedicure, madame. I'm going in. Some nail. And that was some bag. <sighs> Onwards! <laughs> That's the way, Nasha. Where is that waiter with our lunch? I'm ravenous. Madame, Monsieur, your order. Spaghetti and meatballs. Enjoy. Mmm, meatballs. My favourite. <laughs> Pardo, I think Monsieur missed a bit. Ah! Now look what he's done! My new outfit's ruined! Sugar, come. Let's get this creature home before he embarrasses me anymore! <laughs> Believe me, he's only just getting started. <sighs> well, only seconds to go before midnight. All being well, Nasha should be here just about now. Here, take him. Your dog's a menace. He's eaten my best face cream, totally trashed my room, chewed up all my clothes and scared Daddy's guard dog's witless. Sorry, no can do. He's all yours now. What? No! Tripe hands are so yesterday. Sorry. No, wait! Wait! <laughs> there must be something. The guitar, the skateboard, you can have them all. Sugar? Well, I don't know. A deal's a deal. What else do you want? Hmm, I know. How about tickets for the gig? Tickets, you say? Hmm, might be nice. No problem. Sugar, give in the tickets. As many as you want. Anything. Just say you'll take this monster back. What do you think, Nasha? Do you want to come back? <laughs> So, do we have a deal? Deal? Yes. Make a note, sugar. Tripe pounds are out. Permanently. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're off to see Rat Bucket after all, Nasha. Thanks to you. Result! Hey, wait a minute. These are tickets for last year's gig! Athena! <laughs> okay, Nasha. Almost ready for the big launch. Huh? 
me. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission to seek out strange new softies and menace them to boldly go where no mutt has gone before. Huh? Huh? There's only enough power in the elastic to send one small Abyssinian tripound into orbit. Oh. Good luck, Nasher old chum. Happy landings! Oh. Awesome! So every one of us must pull together in an effort to recycle and find new ways to create alternative sources of energy. Let us make Beano Town Greeno Town. The mayor is absolutely right. Yes, we all need to do our bit to save the planet. I shall be moving amongst you, looking for the most eco-friendly, energy-saving citizen in Beano Town. Uh-oh. What's happened to the TV? It's simply super, Walter. Entertaining and energy efficient. This will make everybody sit up and take notice. <laughs> you maniac! Look what you've done! Keep your hair on, Walter. I was just testing out my new rocket. That's not a rocket. It's a... a... a rotten refuse receptacle. You've completely wrecked my beautiful wind-powered water feature. Wind-powered, did you say? Hmm. Wind power could be the very thing I need to launch me Denterprise Mark II. Well, if you're sure you want to give me her lunch, that's very helpful of you, Dennis. Forget Mum's homemade parsnip puree. What you need, be is big beans! <laughs> beans, beans are good for the heart and they help to make me rocket start. Eat up, bean. I don't get it, Jen. What's the plan? It's very simple, Curly. I'm experimenting with new sources of energy. Have you never heard of wind power? Fascinating. I shall have to keep an eye on this young man. OK. Let's get this rocket off the ground. Was that the mayor I just saw? I'm very keen to show him my wind-powered water feature. I had to rebuild it, all thanks to you, Dennis. Walter, look! Your foot! Ah-ha! Uh -huh. You noticed my new homemade eco-trainers. <laughs> That's blown, that idea. Where am I going to find another new source of energy for me rocket? <sighs> Ah, yes. Oh, not only am I getting fit, I'm, I'm, I'm providing all the energy for every electrical device in the house. Oh. Pedal power. Nice one, Dad. <sighs> oh. Cheer up, Nasha. After I launch Enterprise 2, you'll be heading for the stars. Huh? This is the way forward, Nasha. Pedal power! Pedal power? This boy is a shining beacon of energy efficient excellence. I spoke too soon. Well, Nasha, looks like we'll have to put your first space flight on the back burner. <sighs> Wait till the mayor sees this lot. He'll be over the moon. Unlike you, Nasha. <laughs> oh, yes. This compost is going to make me a household name. <laughs> what a whiff. Remove your nose immediately, Dennis.
promise. I do not wish to contaminate my precious cargo. A barrel load of mouldy cabbage leaves and rotting apple cores? Not for very much longer. All this biodegradable material is soon to be fermented and recycled into biofuel to power my new eco-friendly combined cuckoo clock and cocoa maker. Biofuel what? You mean you can make fuel from stinky old fruit and veg? Indubitably. Any fuel knows that. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I need for the next phase of my menacing mission to Mars. Thank you. I'll take that. <laughs> it's that boy again! Incredible! He never stops! Now, what's that nitwit up to? OK, Nasha. Time to turn bruised beetroot and battered broccoli into biofuel! <laughs> With all this power, we'll be able to launch the whole shed into space! <laughs> Keep shoveling, Nasha! We need more energy! <laughs> oh, Dennis, are you sure? Absolutely positive. I've been following his activities very closely. What a splendid eco-friendly example to all the young folk of Beano Town! It's not possible. Is it? I have decided to award your son the town's highest honour, the Legion de Compost, for all his services to recycling and energy conservation. Dennis, the metal? I must be dreaming. So, where is the hero of the hour? Well, I, I, I think he's out the back, in the shed. OK, helmets on. <laughs> This is going to be awesome! Prepare for ignition and blast off! Oh, what? Who's that? Congratulations, young man! Uh, what? As Mayor of Beano Town, I would like to thank you for all your hard work and devotion to the cause of recycling and energy conservation. Hooray! But, but, Mr Mayor, I protest! Not about my whim power! Water feature! Am I sh Shush, Walter. Uh, great. Thanks. Gotta go! <laughs> Anxious to get back to your work, eh? But first, the presentation! No! But I need to. Oh! <laughs> It gives me great pleasure to award you, Dennis, this special medal, which, naturally, has been recycled from old milk bottle tops and tin foil toffee wrappers. Well done, Go Dennis! On, Good lad! Uh, thanks, great. Goodbye! <laughs> He's so modest, isn't he? We must have a photograph now. And you're not to stop working until you've cleaned up every inch of the town. Great. Instead of sweeping across the universe, I'm stuck here sweeping up the street. Ah, Dennis, since you're so fond of recycling, you'll be glad to hear that I'm recycling your pocket money for the next five years to pay for all the damage you've caused. Oh! Well, at least it can't get any worse. Oh, dear, Dennis. Talk about coming down to earth with a bump! <laughs> no, Walter. That's what I call coming down to earth with a bump. Welcome home, boy! You're the world's first astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> Sold out? The rat 
bucket concert? It can't be sold out! Not anymore! <laughs> It's sold out. You let them in? But it was sold out, then it wasn't. Now it is again. OK. Oh, but it took us weeks to get the money. Yeah, it's hard work washing all those cars. I'm having to dirty them up first. <laughs> come on, I've got a plan. We didn't want to come in anyway. Huh? I thought we did. <laughs> we have come to cook fuzzy rockstar. Oh, straight through on your left. Yeah, result. Oh, am I glad to see you. Right, I need all this food picked up for the after-show party. But I'll let you back in when the concert's over, OK? Oh, through there. Is that Rat Bucket's legendary 25-string guitar? Oh, can I see? Oh. Ah Out! And don't come back! OK, not a tunnel, but, uh... Hey, you know the way sheep get everywhere? Well, if we got ourselves some giant sheepskins... Parky's on to us. We need something he can't argue with. Like I say, a sheep. Hello, boys. Look what I've got. Oh, hi, Athena. Two VIP backstage passes. It pays to be Rat Bucket's daughter. Well, if you got two, who's the other one for? Miss Miniwoof, of course. Because she's a special wiggle person who likes her own special wiggle part. <laughs> anyway, must fly. Can't miss a minute. <laughs> See you, boys. One backstage pass, three people, and a dog. <gasps> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> wow! So this is backstage. Maybe we'll meet Rat Bucket. Calling feet, calling feet. Turn left. Left pie face. Pie face! <laughs> Leave the food alone! to keep the strength up, Dan. <laughs> You're really heavy. We're trying to get to a concert, remember? Oh, he looks like someone important. <laughs> Hi. Ah! I'm Athena, my dad's rat bucket. Oh, uh, uh, Hi, Athena. <laughs> ah! No, 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 darling. It's not polite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my tummy rumbling. I need to eat. Uh, right. Have a sausage. <laughs> oh, gross! <laughs> Great. Now we're a tall bloke with a dog's head. Huh, very convincing. That. You made it. Whoa, like the new hair. Quick, Nasha, take these! <gasps> Rat Bucket, our local celebrity. Can I have your autograph? Uh, my wife's a great fan. Um, uh, uh, yes, you can. Sure, I'll sign this piece of paper with my left hand. Oh, thank you. Now I need to go to my dressing room to, uh, dress. Wow! 
Oh, this is the real thing. Just... Just a minute. <laughs> the crowd's been waiting quite a long time, that. I'd like some more food first. Oh, OK. Those pies are nice. You OK, Rat? Your voice sounds a bit... Something for your throat? Uh, more pies would be good. <laughs> oh, we haven't got time for pies, Pie Face. we got to get out of here. Hi. Hmm? I'm hungry. I need you to buy me some caviar. <laughs> That's not very polite. Just when Daddy's going to give us some money. Aren't you, Daddy? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Athena's talking. Oh, Daddy, can we go Athena <laughs> have some money? Then, is it? But you always give me money. <laughs> <gasps> You're not my dad. You're an imposter. Security! Quick, now's our chance. <laughs> You're needed on stage, Rat. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, but I'm the real Rat Bucket. I was delayed, man. Get my daughter Athena. She'll tell you. Huh. She's the one who told us there was an imposter about. <laughs> Real rat bucket. <laughs> I spotted you a mile off, mate. <laughs> You're not tall enough for a start. The band haven't turned up. You're going to have to do a solo gig. Rat bucket! Rat bucket! Rat bucket! Mr. Ratbucket, sir, uh, uh, just caught the imposter. Uh, of course, he didn't have your star quality. That's him, is it? I'll give him a piece of my mind. How dare you? I'm sorry, Mr. Ratbucket. It was stupid to pretend we were you. Consider yourself lucky I don't sue you. I'll tell you what, if you can get me in, you can be my personal guests for the gig. Oh, there you go, Mr. Rat Bucket, sir. Ooh, he's even taller than I thought. And then they pelted us with fruit. Oh, I love it when they do that. <laughs> <gasps> now, where's my band? They haven't turned up. Oh, man, they're always doing that. Hey, you don't know anyone who happens to play, do you? Uh, we play, but we're not very good. We know all your albums. Uh, but we can't sing. Yeah, everyone thinks we're rubbish, but we're really loud. Hang on, not very good. Can't sing. Really loud sounds perfect. <laughs> Hello, Beano Town! Please welcome Beano Town's loudest band, the Din Makers! <laughs> We deserve a rest after such a hard day's work. Avoiding homework. Time for homework handing. Any second now. Flea-ridden hound! Shoo! Avoiding 
yours. Dennis! Dennis! Your turn to mow the lawn! <laughs> and beating Walter to the last ice cream. Ice cream! Ice cream! Only one left! <laughs> <laughs> Jen, look what my dad got us. Tickets to the premiere of Flat of the Palm 5 at the cinema tomorrow night. Starring Crank Power Up. Ha! 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 The greatest action hero of all time. Yeah, and even better, he's going to be there to meet his fans. Cool. I can't wait to show him his special move. Crank! <laughs> No, Dan. It's a can of giggles. Just arrived today at Mr. Ha Ha's. Fantastic! Careful, Dan. It's infectious. <laughs> nice one, Pie Face. I'm always up for a laugh. <laughs> but this is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Too much kung fu! Too much ice cream! Out. I'll see you later. So, what shall we do now? We'll have to make our own fun. If I hold me breath, maybe I can hold back these hiccups. <gasps> Here goes. <gasps> Polish me kit bag. That's the worst case of whooping wallop I've ever heard. I know how to get rid of that. Tomato juice, a splash of milk, spoonful of mustard, topped with a squeeze of sour lemon. Cross fingers that the Colonel's recipe works, B. Your aunties are visiting later and I've got to clean up. OK. I'll see if Mr Ha-Ha's got any ideas. Seeing as it was his can of giggles that caused the problem. I spy with my little eye Something beginning with G. <sighs> Grass. Again. <sighs> we could always get some more pies. That's no replacement for having Dennis around. Why so miserable, boys? 
Having fun just isn't any fun without Dennis. And he's struck down with hiccups. Hiccups? No, oh, there's only one way to cure them with a sudden fright. <laughs> Mr. Ha Ha? <gasps> Problem! <gasps> can of giggles! <gasps> hiccups! Oh dear, did you open the can in a confined space? <laughs> There's your problem. <laughs> that's not hiccups, that's giggle ups. You need this special supplement. <laughs> the Cano Giggles Guide to Curing Giggle Ups. <laughs> Cure number one balancing a pencil on your nose. Hmm, surely that's too easy. Not when it's the Ha Ha Mega Jumbo Pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ha Ha's right. This is pretty tricky. So. We sneak up behind Dennis with this balloon and kaboom! <laughs> what are you two up to? Oh, uh, what? What? nothing. Nothing. Cure number 23. Shout as loud as you possibly can. <laughs> oh, how would Crank Power Up do this? Crang! <gasps> For goodness sake, Dennis, go to the park where we can't hear you. All right, I will. I know and I'm not <laughs> wanted. <laughs> Looks like they're going to the park. Come on, I know a shortcut. <gasps> it should be good enough. It's coming. Ready? <laughs> now what? Oh, 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 nothing. No, just having a laugh. <laughs> just messing about, you know. Guys, I'm trying to cure me hiccups. <laughs> and you're not helping. <laughs> well, this do for camouflage. Wow, pie face. How did you do that? My sister taught me crochet when I was little. Cure number 79. <laughs> Quick, get ready to ambush! Hmm. Drinking water? There has to be more to it than that. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Result! <laughs> <laughs> Face, what are you playing at? It was your grand's idea. She said a sudden fright would cure your hiccups. No good, guys. I'm fearless, remember? But these cures don't work either. They're useless. At this rate, I'll miss the movie and I'll never get to show what crank power up with special move. Dennisy Wennessy. Our favourite little nephew. Oh. <laughs> 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 I knew what would give Dennis a real fright. Sloppy kisses from his loving aunties. <laughs> you were right, Gran. My hiccups have gone. I'm cured. Now I can go to the movie and meet Crank Power Up. In crunch of fists three, Mr. Power Up. What do you think? Very good, Dennis. Perhaps one day you will follow in my footsteps. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I know just the thing. Hello, Auntie Beryl, could you and Auntie Brunella pop down to the cinema? I've got a bit of a problem here, and I think you're the ones who can sort it out for me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>